Welcome to River Bend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. I'm Dennis. And there it is. There Every, that mic's not working. Remember? I got you. I got your back. There's the thing. I'm Dennis. <laughs> You're Pig I'm Pig Ben. Yeah. We have Marshall and Gracia here. Marshall and Gracia is our is some our some guy with a really weird name. Austin Thaddeus Bourbon the Third. May I introduce you to our audience? I, I will make a oh. correction though. I am not a third. Oh, but, but it, it, it sounds sound, fun. It, it sounds sound okay. like it could go there. Well, so so when he when he told me your name, I said, What's Austin's last name so I can put it on the uh They're gonna have to share a mic. You guys gonna have to share a mic? Oh yeah. we're, we're down to three. Kind of squeeze that between you guys get Come close. I'm, yeah, I'm sure you've been close you. before, right. but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, he told me. I said, What's Austin's last name? I want to, by the way, audience, uh, Austin and, and Marshall are playing the band Grand House, who will be performing at the Happy Trails Festival, as well as the fact Marshall is the promoter of the Happy Trails Festival, third annual. Oh, third man. Annual. So, Remember that first one? I, yeah. you were here, yeah, yeah. we I, talked I was about there. it. It was a good time. Your knees kept knocking the whole time, it was all on tape. It yeah, I mean, the first time on radio. <laughs> yeah. Marshall doesn't speak too often. No, I don't. I'm, that's why I play bass. I just, get to, right? I just get to chill, play my bass. Well, I think you were, were uh, more uh, concerned about your first ever festival. You just moved to town. I did. Yeah. Yeah. And you moved here because it's a cool place. It's an awesome place. Yeah. <laughs> From Granite City, right? From Granite City. Yeah. yeah. Granite, Granite's cool, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Still stuck. Granite's scene is popping pretty good right now. They it got, Ed, uh, not Eddie's anymore, it's Patrick's now. They got Imperial Pub. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy that does the uh, the original music, uh, 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 Jacob Myers. Yeah. Uh, so, there, you know, there's uh, there's quite a few places uh, down in the Granite area that's starting to pop. So, yeah. your hometown's starting to pick it up, man. We love right. it. Right. Yeah, I'm really proud of them. Imperial Pub especially. And, and I'm not saying uh, the, the Jacob Myers does original music. Mm -hmm. Love that. Uh, Patrick's is always doing something. But that Imperial, man, they are all over the map. Kind of like back room here. You don't know what you're yeah, going to get day to day. I'm really happy that Granite's got Imperial. That that popped up uh, after I had left. Yeah. Or yeah. was up and coming like at, like around that time. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, Lean into the mics a little bit when you talk. So yeah, I, get, so, so no, I got you. Okay. Right. <laughs> you don't have to lean okay. in quite that much. Just a little bit. But uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, when, when I asked Marshall your name to put on the promo, I, I said, what's what's Austin's last name? He said, Bourbon. I said, now that's a good name. Hey, <laughs> and yeah. he said his middle name's Thaddeus. And I think I just added the third. Because, <laughs> you know, Austin, you know, uh, Thaddeus Bourbon the third sounds like a ruler of England. Yeah. I rule England in the 1400s with an iron fist and a flaccid peanut. No, I, 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 don't know, I don't know how you rule. It, it is French. <laughs> it is French. See, it sounds it, man. So yeah. I, that's, a, that's, European. A, that's the kind of name, you know, that's pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, I've had some uh, music store owners tell me that's a good that's a good stage name and i'm like that's my name yeah so, mm -hmm. <laughs> right <laughs> uh, so it's not made up carl <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> we call him frank when no one else is around yeah. but no, no. yeah that that's uh so that's great you guys uh you, you guys played uh you didn't did you play the first happy trails festival grand house did not play the first I happy trails festival because last happy trails festival that trap happy trails 2019 was the first time i got to see grand house mm -hmm. i thought it was great Oh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you very much. I was just talking to you out in the lobby about <laughs> mm -hmm. the guy who played guitar. I've never seen him before or since. Uh, <laughs> but That's uh, Kevin Myers. He's an amazing uh, guitar, guitar, player. guitar player. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. And, yeah. and a, a, a goofy guy because I sat and hung out with him for a while. Oh, he's he's energy. Energy. Yeah. Yeah. I love him. I love yeah. He's yeah. one of my favorite he's part of it. <laughs> yeah, we, we were having some good laughs after the show. But, yeah, yeah. That, was a, that was a fabulous show, man. So uh, happy to see you guys coming back again because I haven't seen you since. Yeah, Sweet. you don't do a lot, do yeah, you? Yeah, no, well, it's uh, especially like during the first one, like that was during pretty much a transition of all of our friends moving away to different states and everything else. So it was kind of like uh, didn't didn't really know. We had a bunch of songs still, like, and we kind of tried out different people and this and that. Like, but Kevin Kevin worked out for a while, but he has a different job and this and that keeps him away so we haven't been playing right. with him as much either it's just pretty much me and marshall and sometimes sean who was 
originally our drummer, but he's kind of a utility guy, so he does uh, yeah. a little bit of everything. <laughs> that's <laughs> Alex Honky that's running around the background here fixing <laughs> the cameras. He's that guy. What, what do you need? What, what hole do you need filled? He'll yeah. fill it. And yeah. I mean that in many ways, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good dude to have in the arsenal. That is a good All the best part, he works for free. <laughs> yeah, that's even better. That always helps. Right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, sure. Hey, speaking of working for free, we're not. We got help in music company sponsors us and mr man van horse of messias insurance thanks so, to 25 both bucks a piece guys. for us and yeah and so, so thanks to both of those guys uh matt uh from it's messias insurance for sponsors and help and not only for sponsors but for doing the kid rock every t- every year when we talk about the kid rock it, it, it gives me goosebumps it starts this saturday that's fabulous, man. I, we I, need to get those guys on, the Kids Rock guys. <laughs> we, we should get the, like, at the end, they have the big yeah. concert. We should, yeah, get one of the bands to. Yeah, it happens in the evening, usually, yeah, when I'm yeah. working. So yeah, me too. I need so. this other guy that helps me to go do it. Alex will do it for free. I just heard I it. Someone just on the radio just said that. I don't yeah. know if it's true or not. Oops. I think I bumped his camera. I don't know how many, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe a month, and I'll be able to do more of that stuff. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. So anyway. Still trying to figure it out. Anyway, you guys are back in action after kind of so so kind of the thing was you guys had a band and then a few guys as you got older moved away. Mm-hmm. You had your songs together, but the the guys were moving away, so you're just kind of uh, using different fellows from around the area to help fill in, right? Keeping yeah. it alive, keeping yeah. it alive, keeping right? it alive, um, and uh, different approaches. We've well, this this time around we're gonna do mostly uh, acoustic kind of uh, vibe on on some of the old songs that we've recorded, uh, electric and so on. On, like in the past but yeah we're just doing a fresh spin try something different well, something different do you hear that? That breaking news. It's going to be Grand House unplugged at 420. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You heard it here first. No, I yeah. don't know if you heard it here first. But <laughs> Marshall's bass will still be electrified, though. So, But it's a fretless. Yeah. So, I mean, so it plays like uh, an acoustic yeah, bass. Exactly. There you yes. go. <laughs> I'm not sure if that'll get you in a traditional bluegrass festival. Though. No. <laughs> no, but, no, but I'm, I've always loved my I'd flat and scrugs and Bill Monroe stuff. Though. Yeah. Alex used to play in a uh, traditional bluegrass band. They'd get on his butt every time he showed up with electricity. Yeah. He'd have to have his stand-up bass there. And, and he wasn't real fond of having to play that. <laughs> you, you, he, he would have to play the stand-up bass, or you could play Tubby. You remember Tubby? Yeah, tell that Tubby. Was the, uh, it was the uh, oh, uh, Janice, or uh, one of the girls had the uh, wash tub bass that oh, they had made, cool. and it was, and she named it Tubby, and uh, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. so fun. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a killer That's street. Really Cool. I saw a killer street band in New Orleans with a guy just playing the wash tub with a broomstick and one piece of rope and a dish soap glove. And I'm like, he was throwing down. I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I've been in four bars tonight. Yeah. Been in four bars that night and didn't see anybody tear up a bass like that guy tore up one rope. <laughs> one piece of rope. Now, admittedly, awesome. that was the end of the night. I was pretty wasted. But <laughs> hey, you know, I'm, if, I'm sure he was holding it down. <laughs> so so uh, this is the the third annual happy trails uh grand house acoustic making an appearance now tell us uh, who else is on the well, we talked about it a lot last week with bounce house but remind our listeners who all is on this list awesome well the last two happy trails have been uh, a single day and this year for the 2020 event i decided to up it to two days essentially so that i could fit uh, more bands um i think this year we have 21 all together and that would be the schwags billy nelson bounce house tree one four on a shown off sinusopro hayes bond the dead roses hooky justice and the experience aid the beast grass and stone ian whitmore raw earth bongo jack versus the loot machine grand house accidentally on purpose cricket and the grilled avocados the buzz tones darian row and elise so wow quite a bit of local music uh making an appearance yeah at the trails this year now most of that's original music too from what i remember there's a couple cover bands in there but uh yeah. the swag yeah basically yeah, swag yeah i think cricket does covers right? Cricket mm-hmm. does some co- does covers uh spilly will throw a couple covers out you know a lot of those bands will throw a couple of covers out but doing doing lots of original music too so mm-hmm. that's a, a mainly original local lineup really local. going on there that's, beautiful that's yeah. going to be awesome man uh Speaking of local music, should we run down the Thursday lineup? It's getting usually we do Thursday early because that's stuff's right, already ready, happening. Go. All right, ready, go. go. <laughs> I, I don't mean run down it. Oh, yeah. Should we? Should we tell Sprint people what's down. happening? Yeah, <laughs> Let's sorry. leisurely uh, stroll yeah. down. <laughs> Let's see Shanty along. 
Every, every Thursdays, the sea shanty sing along at I, uh, Morrison's Irish Pub. You get drunk on Irish whiskey and you sing along with the crowd. They're having a street party this year for St. Patrick's Day. Oh man, that's gonna be fabulous! Yeah, I heard there's gonna be actual leprechauns there, and if you catch one, you win a prize. <laughs> Just make sure it's not a troll. Different thing. Yeah, yeah, you don't get nothing for a troll. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, we'll, we'll probably give you gold stars for catching one, but you know, I like trolls too. Uh, I think they still do open mic at Germania. Do you know? I I checked. I didn't see anything on it, but... I believe open uh, mic at Germania Brujas is still on. Yeah, and then down at uh, Raging Cajun, they do the open mic tonight. Yep, hosted by Jamie Dunn and Devin McClendon at 8 p.m. DJ at Bossa Nova, Dwayne Williams. The truckers at Fast Eddie's. Scrambled. Stagger in again. <laughs> right. I like that thought. name, Scrambled. I see them where they're playing the uh, Land of Lincoln Festival uh, that's happening. Uh, oh, that's uh, September be such a 25th. Good show. It is. A lot of the bands that are on your uh, festival, I seen are playing that festival. Yeah, I seen Spilly's that. Spilly's yeah. playing that. Uh, a few of those bands. Where, where's seen. that at? Uh, the Boys and Spilly. It's and, at the uh, exact same place that your festival is out. Oh, so Camp. it's the Spilly Nelson Festival. Yeah, yeah, Spilly, those yeah, guys. Yeah, Nelson I did. Okay. Oh, no, it's the land. Land of Lincoln. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. But the, they told me that they were doing their own thing down yeah. at Manitoba. Uh, when I talked to them about playing Family Fest at Manitoba this year, they said, oh, we're doing one down there, too. But I, I forgot the name of it. So now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Now I feel like I'm part of the crowd. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so scrambled one of those bands uh, playing that festival at Stagger Inn tonight. Uh, DJ at the Back Bar in Edwardsville. Rob Mills up at uh, Georgia's local brew in Jerseyville. Mo Pleasure. At the Lake House in Maryville, Buffalo Park. Scott and Michelle at uh, LaSalle's in Granite City. There's some uh, original music coming out of LaSalle's. Some of the acoustic guys. Nice. And then Pick and Lickin'. They're at uh, Deutz tonight. With Grant. Deutz, Billy Gunn. Yeah. Pick and nice. Lickin's fun. And, and Deutz has pretty much picked it up to doing uh, somebody on Thursday, and then they do the double header on Friday and Saturday. So good for them for doing the three Most nights of the time, everybody. though, you got to find the bands to figure out who's playing there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not right. good about posting who's playing. Hey, guys at Deutz, do us a favor. Advertise better. Well, from what I understand, <laughs> they don't have to. They kind of got a steady crowd. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> every band I talked to, like uh, uh, when Hooky played down there and I was talking to uh, Grand Pagano, he's like, man, that place is a party ready to happen when you get there. So yep. apparently, they've already got a crowd. Uh, I actually drove by it uh, accidentally, and I was like, oh, there's Deutz. I never knew where it was down there. Uh, right there on the main uh, main drag in Pontoon, uh, right by the Long Beach, so or the Long Lake. Or so whatever it is. since you just discovered it, does that make it a new place yeah i just, just like uh the you pilgrims see discovering guy, marshall he'll find a band he'll come tell me about i found this new band it's like they got new seven albums out they got new seven albums well, did, the, did the pilgrims <laughs> discover this great country that the indians were native americans were already living in? i don't know no, i wasn't around that's the word we use they yeah. discovered it so i, I know i i, I guess I, I passed by it so so you're basically there for a while but so you're basically basically christopher columbus Kind of. So you're Illuminati. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> three, three. I knew there was something wrong with you. Signs. Just he is. He is. I'm, I'm throwing gang signs. <laughs> <laughs> Jesuit, are you? Uh, no, Let's no. I, I don't know any kind of secret handshakes. I don't know none of that yeah, stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know a lot no about Columbus, though. Medicine. Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I know about Columbus, I saw for myself with my third eye. So I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> Squeegee. <laughs> did you see? Uh, did you see the map he got from the Chinese? Oh yeah, he showed that to me. He he, he paid very little for that man. So I'm reading a book. It's called uh, Chasing Dragons. Yeah. And it's about the uh, Piasol bird. Yeah. Oh, really? And it's about how there were two Piasol birds. If you know the story, originally on the uh, bluff. And the colors and everything that match up go back to China. Right. So they think the Chinese actually painted the Piasaw bird. Because if you read the story, the Indians don't even, they weren't even sure where it came from. I thought it went back even before the, the Chinese to like the Egyptians and stuff. Yeah, but, maybe. Yeah. I'd be interested I'm just saying to know that's what another. kind of pigments they were using, mm-hmm. like ochres and different kinds of stuff yeah. like that. The book uh, breaks down 11 comparisons to uh, what's called a uh, long in uh, China, L O. 
N G, just right. like we spell long. Right. And uh, that dragon, in particular, is the exact same setup as what they think they found. You know, because it's all based on a description now, because they tore it down. But this guy actually went up to Elsa and found the original site from where the, it's the only rock quarry that was along. It's a great book. Check nice. it out. Chasing little, Dragons. Chasing Dragons. Yeah, hopefully I'm going to find the author and time get him on. He's from St. Louis. So. Wait a minute. I like chasing dragons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, what are we talking about? <laughs> I'm lost, man. All right, so anyway, yeah, what 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 were we talking? We about? We were talking about happy trails, the oh, happy yeah, trails yeah. that happy the Chinese trails. took to get to Alton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Chinese were here first. You heard, you heard it here. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was like fourteen. Well, the, the Great Triangle, the Trade Triangle. Anyway, yeah. we we can we can talk history and conspiracies go later. I don't know. Let's go down that wormhole. Go, <laughs> it's a long ride, brother. You sure hey, you want to go? I like that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so you know, we were also talking about what was going on. Did we finish that? No, we did. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that was, but that's a lot that on Thursday. Thursday. That's a whole. Yeah. That's a whole uh, typed up page of stuff. Just this side of the river on the river bend area for thursday so congratulations to all the owners of these venues and all the bands out doing it now everybody get out and see it so we can keep it going and push that back to wednesday thursday friday <laughs> saturday so uh an entire page for friday pig pen and i was uh showing the uh, engineer of the station what we're doing yeah and he looked at the list and he goes oh, i guess that's st louis included i'm like Absolutely no Absolutely, just not. illinois Wow. Yeah. There may be a band or two that plays over in St. Louis that we have mentioned from time to time. Or if someone plays at Port de you know, mm -hmm. some, something close. Well, you know? I guess. Yeah. You know, it's kind of. Yeah. It's kind of like our. It's not St. Louis city. It's though, not St. No. Louis now, anyway. Yeah. But if, but if, yeah, if someone from Alton goes over to St. Louis, by all means, we mention that. So I told or them. Or if some of our buddies in St. Louis are playing, sometimes we shout it yeah, out to them. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like I told you, I keep the links up there, and if if you're a band and you update your stuff constantly, well, every single gig, I just update the link each week, and Made I don't easy. care where you're playing, I'll announce it. You're good enough to keep your uh, events up to date and all that stuff. That's right. a great service. Yeah, yes. it's hard work. You know it, Marshall. <laughs> yeah. And if bands are out there working hard, I want to help them. Absolutely. I want to, you know, put that stuff out there if they're going to spend the time putting it up. That's why we're here, helping them bands, hopefully. Hopefully we encourage one person to go see Scrambled. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let us know. I'm yeah. feeling scrambled tonight. Uh, just <laughs> scrambled egg brains. So uh, back to the happy trails and, and Grand House, though, now that we've covered our Thursday. So you uh, on your third year, and you, you've upped it to – now you're up to two – that the first year was just one stage, wasn't it? One stage, one, one day. day. Yeah. Next year was two stages, one day. Right. Now you're up to two stages, two days. Four stages, two No, two stages, two stages, two days. Two yeah. Days. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four stages. I mean, you freak me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, man. <laughs> two stages, two days. And, and now, just so people know, this is at the Mineral Springs Mall. Mm -hmm. It's in the big ballroom. And the stages are literally at each end of the ballroom, but they will never be playing at the same time. No. So while you're, bands. Yeah, while you're in the ballroom, uh, one band plays plays while another band's setting up and as soon as they're done within just a couple of minutes you just turn around and you're looking at another band playing yep. it's gonna get set up mm -hmm. uh, yeah a lot of work for the people who run it to keep it going that way but it keeps the uh entertainment for the attendees flowing almost non-stop right and we're able to pack as much music as possible uh, nice. for that method which yeah. is cool yeah, yeah. There, that, that seems to be a theme with some of the uh festival promoters around here that like bush fest trinity fest like just how much can we possibly shove into this amount of <laughs> yeah. time people well, are willing to turn around and walk <laughs> around a little bit go, <laughs> go check something else out yeah we uh we like to party we like to throw shows and everybody's friends so it's like get every get all your friends on the bill you know absolutely <laughs> that's, that's that's how that's how and, it is and, and uh, a bit of serendipity for you this uh, time, though, because uh, the swag is playing, and that's yes. the big influence for you that got you uh, even yeah. change your style of music that you were playing. Were you uh, playing yeah. some heavy music when, uh, at the time? Yeah. When uh, when I was younger, uh, before I even started going to swag stocks, I was you know I was into heavier music. I played you know like 
drop D bass, all that kind of stuff. I love it. Um, but right. anyways, yeah, went to, went to, uh, went to Swag Sock, um, partied a little bit, uh, you know, went to the show. A little. <laughs> Ain't a little party. <laughs> Just right. enough to change his direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Legendary party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, after a few years of doing that, um, yeah, I had a whole new direction musically I wanted to go in. I was, um, I kind of daydreamed about hosting festivals and we ended up uh, going to Bonnaroo's, like so, like seven Bonnaroo's or something like that. We went to, we did a bunch of those as well and just getting the influence from both of those shows and, uh, you know, getting introduced to Grateful Dead music through Jimmy and the swag uh, at Camp Zo really inspired this show. I actually got the name Happy Trails at a swag stock one yeah. time. Yeah, I seen a, a really cool tag that said "Happy Trails, Watch Your Tail." So. <laughs> nice. I got it from Roy Rogers. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the guy. One oh, of them cowboys. That's what I always think too. Yeah. I got it from David Lee Roth. There you no, go. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> well, you know where he got it, <laughs> right? Jew, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I, not that I mind. I just Adam Sandler used yeah, to say that. I know. It's true. Uh, I, 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 I had Adam Sandler. Oh, right. in my head, as soon as you said it, ah, good stuff. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, down at Swagstock kind of set you on this uh, this festival mm-hmm. path, and then I, I did the same thing. Once I decided many many moons before I ever threw my fest first festival, you, you see it and you go, oh, this is great. Mm-hmm. And then after a while, mm-hmm. you go. Well, I want to do this too. Yes, yeah. yeah. but you have to go to a whole bunch of them and watch. Yeah, and, and kind of get. Oh, this is how you do this. You know, the one that I think really spurred you on was the uh, the Jake's Leg Party that you used to go to. Absolutely on this side Leg of the river. Fest. Absolutely. Which one was that? It, it was. Uh, it, well, it started off at the uh, parking lot of the Benelde Coliseum. Right. And then when they tore that down, I'm going to. Oh, I can't remember the guy's name. I've known him for years. Mark. He lived right down the road on. Out for he had a huge farm and they would just do an all day party. Well, it went from noon until dusk, they didn't have any light show or anything. So, as soon as it got too dark to see, they quit playing. And it was great because it would be 500 to 1,000 people in a field all day long having a blast. Yeah. Just, awesome. just everybody getting along, everybody having a good time. And I thought, Wow, it doesn't always have to be the Grateful Dead or Bonnaroo or Inner Light. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to need a million dollars to do this. Because mm. the big festivals make you feel that way. It right. also ha- doesn't have to be in the summer in a field. As Marshall has showed us, yeah. we can get Mineral Springs Ball yeah. and do the same thing. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and you know what? And that's, that's cool, man. It's nice I to have that at this time of summer. Yeah. Nobody, yeah. nobody else is throwing yeah. like a big show around that time. Yeah. You know, so I'm not stepping on the toes of any of the other awesome festivals I love it. in town. I love it. Great. You know, like literally here in Alton, you can hit a festival like every three months. That's yeah, true. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my my buddy, my bandmate, and, and uh, run sound with me on Higher Sound, Jeff Nelson, has suggested that for the past three or four years. We should do one in the winter, too. We mm-hmm. should do one in the winter, too, because, you know, you get bored in the winter. Yeah. Right. But I'm like, it's, it's so hard just to do the one in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do I find time to do another one in the winter? I feel, yeah. <laughs> I, actually, I actually have tossed around the idea of doing a smaller scale summer event. That's um, exactly what we say. Do a smaller winter one. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Uh, I want to call it Happy Tales. No. <laughs> and benefit... Um, Either a, a shelter or an animal hospital or, or a strip uh, club, or a strip club, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> Whoever shakes their tails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those girls need clothes. They do. Yeah. I know. I, oh, man. You know, people, people think that I I never help out, but I have clothes naked at the strip food, club too. in Tennessee. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I fed the hungry too, but it was mainly me. <laughs> I don't, all right, I'll stay. Stolen. I'll quit stealing Tim Wilson Thank lyrics you. and move on. Thank you. Give him <laughs> rest, credit. Rest in peace, Tim. Yes, Tim. Uh, rest in chaos. Actually, screw that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so happy tales. Uh, any uh, any thoughts about where you might host such a thing? I uh, have a couple thoughts of where I'm going to host it. I'm not going to say yet because I have to talk to said people, but I do know if this show happens, I know when it's going to be, and that's going to be um, the evening or the night of the pup crawl. So I believe that is May 30th. Oh. So it'll be a uh, the pup crawl is an event we do here in Alton where yep. um, everybody brings their dogs out and they hit all the, you know, the bars and restaurants and you can bring your dogs along. So at the end of that night, um, we're going to throw 
a party somewhere uh, <laughs> for everybody. Um, it's going to have to be um, spacey and outdoors in case people still have their dogs, which I'm sure they will, and they yeah. can't be like inside and allowed. Need a park or something, yes. 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 So as soon as uh, we get a couple things figured out, um, good chance that show is going to happen. Nice. So. Nice. There's, uh, they've been doing festivals in Rock Springs Park. They're gospel festivals, but well, and the uh, the grandpa gang. Oh, well, the grandpa gang only benefits it. It wasn't actually down there. I forget it. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> I make a lot of things up as I go along, Mister Austin Thaddeus Bourbon the Third. Yeah, the third. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, happy uh, happy trails though happening mm-hmm. next weekend. Yeah, not this weekend. Next weekend, uh, January twenty fourth and twenty fifth. Yes, and, yes. And that is uh, you've got a lot more going on as we were down in the space last week. Yeah, discussing it. Uh, so much to do. There's a lot more going on in addition to all those great bands you mentioned. There's going to be other things happening. Uh, tell us about some of the other things that will be going on. I have a surplus of vendors that will be set up, and um, I am currently working on making space for all these vendors. So uh, patrons that come are going to have two days full of music and endless uh, local goods to browse if they're interested in supporting any local artist or anybody. Like I've got people that do soap, tie-dye, like, you know, crystal stuff, you know, just anything and everything you could think of. Um, John Griffin doing live art. John Griffin will be set up doing live art again this year, which is awesome. Last year, the one he did, my guitar player bought. Oh really? The yeah, one he did during the, he did a live one during the uh, during the festival. I my, know I wanted it so my, bad. Uh, my guitar player has it. Lucky him! Yeah. I'm glad he got. You it. own your guitar player? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I, I, I paid cash for him. I, better, <laughs> you know I, mean? uh, I, I may I may have asked for that. One. Okay, <laughs> uh, let, let me let me reword that. My good friend, Mister <laughs> Jeff Lair. Thank you. That. <laughs> Give him credit. Uh, Holds the band together. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a good he, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it, it was a very nice painting, sort of uh, Garcia yeah, and Pink Floyd. He changed the name of the band and... for him. He wouldn't change it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't change it at all. I didn't come up with the first name. I didn't come up with the second name. I've come up with one name for that band, and they keep shooting it down, so whatever. I think he's and, full of it. <laughs> no, I, I, what, what's that name? I promise I won't steal. Right. I don't want to put it out. We won't put it out. Right. Either. We, won't. we won't. We won't. No, you not. you won't we steal. Won't. Just like I didn't roof you on that last date. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <laughs> happened. Wink, wink. Not that drink tasted funny. <laughs> Nothing happened. I'm telling you. You guys. The one name. The one name you had started with your name. And the Prairie Girls. Half pint and the Prairie right. Girls, my name. You were half pint. <laughs> I, was, I was half pint. Okay, well, so, <laughs> that's like Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet you Band. Uh, you know. I, I, it, it comes from the Laura Ingalls. <laughs> I used to wear that exact same dress a lot. And, you know, <laughs> and the braids, just like you. Yeah, no, so, I've uh, got, yeah, I'm wearing my yeah, Laura Ingalls. I, I know. I, I look. It's, it's very cute. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not Triangle Beard, though. That was your best band name. I, I, Triangle Beard. One show. I did not I name it. that band either. That's a good uh, band name. Sam like uh, Sam Four, the fourteen yeah. year old guitar virtuoso. He's like four around. then. He I know he <laughs> named it. Yeah he he uh, he told his grandpa he said. Who's the guy with the triangle beard? Could he talk then or yeah, not? Yeah, he could. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah, he, he, he asked who the guy with the triangle beard was, and that's what spawned uh, that name. But, yeah, I I didn't, I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's not talk about that right. stuff. I don't know how we got I love that. bringing that up. Are we on the radio or what? No. <laughs> what are we doing? Wait, no, this I, think, I think that is great content. Right. I like that stuff. <laughs> I want to I want to know things like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no idea what's <laughs> going on. what I listen on. for in radio. Uh, Thank you. Uh, so, anyway... Uh, should we be going? Should we should we do the Friday and Saturday stuff before we talk more Happy Trails? Or we're, we're, we were in the middle of talking about your vendors, weren't we? Because everybody should get out and start your Christmas shopping now, at, right? At Happy Trails, yes. <laughs> yeah, there's a, or spend your Christmas money boom. at Happy Trails. Either there you way, go, yeah. man. Um, yeah, there's going to be we got we got vendors. Old Bakery Beer is going to be doing beer there and food. Uh, Mojo's Music is donating an acoustic guitar that we're going to auction off, um, a raffle off. raffle off Saturday. Isn't that um, I'm pulling sexy. I'm just saying. <laughs> I agree. I'm just saying, man. Like, you know, I'm pretty hot. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, anyways. Um, 
<laughs> you, you don't have Marshall yeah, Blush you. over here. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll have um, on Friday. We'll have uh, single day tickets for Friday, so that'll be ten bucks to get in. Um, we'll have single day tickets Saturday for fifteen, and then if you show up Friday and for sure want to come Saturday, you'll be able to buy a two day pass for twenty. So you'll save. There you go, five bit bucks. Of money. Yeah. yeah. Take that five dollars and buy one more beer from Old Bakery or whatever. That's right. You know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. Or uh, or a raffle ticket for a guitar. Our, uh, our, another great thing they could do with that five dollars. Donate it to the sound crew. Those guys always need more money. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, yeah, what no. time are you starting on Friday? Uh, doors will open at one o'clock Friday. Okay. So and, um, and music starts. Uh, I, I believe the first act Friday will start at uh, one twenty. I no, 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 no. One twenty, one thirty. Four twenty. It's it's Saturday. It oh, I'm thinking Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday. See, I, I, no, I celebrated my four twenty before the show. Before yeah. the show. So. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, so Friday. 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 It will yeah. be starting at at four twenty. And okay. And that is a unusual start time. Some people might think. Yep. <sighs> How did it come about that start time? <laughs> Everybody, there's like three people out there right now going, that is a weird start time. And everyone else going, right, I didn't come up with that. <laughs> no, nah, it's the name of the head shop, right? Yeah. 420. <laughs> Studio 420. I just Studio thought 420. I thought it was a good time to start a festival on a Friday. Yeah. You know, get off work. You know, uh, go to Happy Trails. Yeah, there you go. Music starts at 420. And then 120, <laughs> which is 420 somewhere He's on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yep. Uh, so there you go. Let's so out the time zones on that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and you've got bands. Uh, so Friday, January 24th, 420 to midnight. Bands mm -hmm. going. And then Saturday, January 25th, 120 to midnight. Right. And then... Um, at Bottle and Barrel, right down the road from Happy Trails uh, on Broadway, we're, we're going to do an after party both nights. Um, I'll have details for Friday night up soon. Saturday night, uh, we're getting a double dose of Spilly Nelson. So uh, Spilly is going to play um, Saturday night at Happy Trails before the swag. Um, I will actually be uh, sitting in with Spilly Nelson on bass. I used to play in that band. Yeah, yeah I remember and, that. Uh, I got a video a of that. Bit. Sweet. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And then my arm disappears or something yeah, crazy like that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's Going a, to a that's, vortex. That's, that's a story for another time. Uh, but uh, so, um, yeah, those guys were nice enough to let me uh, come and jam with them for that set. And then um, after the swag's done, I have to party a bottle and barrel, and they'll be going from 12, 1230 to close. So. Nice. It's going to be a party. Nice. Yeah, double dose of the Spilly family. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Nice. There yep. you go, man. Uh, and and uh, you got, you said food. You food. got food. You got drinks. You got vendors. You mm -hmm. got performers. You got live art going on. Yeah. Uh, John, Like we said, John will be set up painting. And then uh, Michael Snyder, local artist, will actually have some pieces set up throughout the event, too. So come check out his work. He's got some really cool stuff he's going to be bringing out. Some Gar uh, Jerry Garcia, Grateful Dead-inspired art, amongst other things. I'm trying to figure out where to get the world's largest kaleidoscope at. He's got it. I just got to figure out where to incorporate it into this festival. <laughs> but there is going to be a giant kaleidoscope. <laughs> Scope there, nice. so just so you know, yeah, nice. upstairs in that little balcony area. I thought about that, yeah. but I want people to like really be able to utilize this. So yeah. like, yeah. you're running out of space. I know, yeah, yeah. I, I love Mineral Springs. I will always do a festival there, but if this one keeps going at the rate it is, like we're gonna have to get a campground somewhere. Good answer. Yeah. Find a bigger <laughs> space. Been there, yeah. done that, man. Oh yeah. So. Right on, man. Well, cool. It sounds like a oh, yeah. good time brewing for all. I brought you guys stickers. Woohoo! Some happy trail stickers. stickers. Awesome. Very nice. Awesome. Yeah, get them in front of the camera. That's good. <laughs> get them out of I focus like up there. Yeah. Here you go. Alex will love to edit that. Yeah. Yeah. I brought yeah. that for notes, though, but that Who is did the, the uh, artwork on that? Uh, Amy Riot does my uh, all my art for Happy Trails. Um, I met her through the Schwag family and other festivals and um, found out she was a graphic designer. And at the first festival, I was... I was like no budget. I was spending everything out of pocket, essentially. Right. I had a couple sponsors, just two, I think, for the first one. Um, that was Zen and uh, Old Bakery. And um, she did all my art for free. And then nice. so she's been on since the since then. And, um, of course, I, I pay her a little bit, you know, that that I can now. And uh, But I picked up more sponsors and 
which yeah. is the way that it goes for absolutely for how about giving all your sponsors a quick shout out yeah i do want to give all my sponsors a quick shout out um this year we have alton works which is a new business here in town that has been um committed to kind of redeveloping downtown alton and revitalizing the area and i think that's awesome and uh, i approached uh, simmons hanley conroy to sponsor the festival again as they did last year Who, who's simmons uh, who's Simmons? That's Uncle John. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle John. Now we're getting down to something. Yeah. Uh, I, did a, I did a radio show with uh, John. Did you? Here. Yeah, John's awesome. And uh, he went by Uncle John. That's so hilarious. to me, he's Uncle John. I have yep. an Uncle John. Yeah. yeah. Come join Uncle, Uncle John's Uncle band. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, anyway, that's I, I, I'm cool. just teasing everybody. No, it's awesome. John no, 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 John's awesome. I asked him yeah. about sponsoring the show again and he's like, that'd be great. Um, but he we're does a do lot of, through, he, he, uh, sponsors, he sponsors a lot of great uh, artistic things around the community. John is a lot. awesome. He yeah. supports the arts in this town like no other. Absolutely. And we're, we're so lucky to have somebody that is so interested in uh, making sure we have cool stuff like Happy Trails and other Alt Main Street events. Too. Hey, have you heard him sing bass? I have not oh, heard him he's sing. He's a great bass singer. Yeah, to sing bass. Really? He can. He can hit the I can see that. He can. I can definitely hear yeah, him was that. He was in the uh, Wanda Mountain Boys for a little while. Yeah. Singing and holding down the bass line, mm-hmm. baby. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, anyway, so who, who else other than Simmons and Alton uh, Works? We got Alton Works, we got uh, Alton Main Street, and uh, nice. they, they've supported me from the beginning. I'm on the promotions committee uh, with Alton Main Street, and they help out with just little things here and there that I need for the show. And I then had, uh, I had to have a disclosure there that he worked. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that actually, actually Happy Trails of the Festival is totally separate from Alton Main Street. It's not on the, it's not on like their. It's not one of their events, but they do help me out like tremendously, and those are all like you know, like really good friends of mine. So right. definitely keeping them like on the promotional base for the festival. They seem and like then, okay people. Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like I said before, Amy Wright Designs, who does my posters. Um, it's raining. Zen has yep. been a sponsor from the get go, and it's also where I hold the festival at, at right. Mineral Springs. Uh, this year, we picked up Old Mississippi Soundhouse, which is a newer studio at the in uh, the Milton area. At the uh, where Mavis Coffee's at, um, oh, the old Milton School. Yeah, it's a really yep. cool little spot. Yeah, my buddy um, runs that runs that studio, so I think it's cool um, that we have a couple of those and you know variety. Yep. I, I, I love yep. the variety in this town. Absolutely. Um, and then we have Old Bakery Beer as usual. They've been with us from the get go as well. And like we said, they'll be doing the food and beer. And then uh, we also have Lighthouse Sounds that has picked up nice. uh, sponsorship this year, Excellent. and they're gonna they're gonna um, mix and master all of the music for me, and I'm gonna get that back to the bands for them to put out. Out or do as they please with and then uh simmons Hanley conroy and uh pious all body arts will also be wow. a sponsor and they're setting up the second stage actually like they're bringing it they're yeah, setting it nice. up nice so yeah i was like sweet yeah very sweet. very so, yeah, nice they, this man. show is a uh it's a product of community support and i love Absolutely. that That's what and, it's a, all about. and a quick shout out to jimmy tebow because i know if he was uh like he was with you uh pig pen he's uh always there for some advice on how to put on a, a festival you can call oh, yeah, him up and, yeah. and, and he'll give you some solid advice because he's been doing it a long time so I've, and i know he helped yeah. him out quite a bit yeah. i would love to chat with jimmy i've uh we've met but I I wouldn't say like we like know each other on first name basis yeah. by any means. But I've I've chatted with him like it shows here and there. But I would love to uh, and I, I'll find some time I'm sure Happy Trails to yeah. chat with him a little bit. But yeah, that'd be great because he definitely like introduced me to Grateful Dead music and a little. Fu- I almost cussed. Uh, <laughs> you hold it back just in time. That's all right. Um, You're getting comfortable. Well, we're we're fire under really duty to uh, start a festival. So. Yeah, no. Nice man. Yeah, uh, well, that, that's safe. cool. Yeah, he, he's a he's a good dude to have in your corner on on that sort of thing. And now the, the girl that does the art, did she do the the picture I saw that is a drawing of the Mineral Springs Mall with a pie saw burn on I think top? That's, that's, that's John Griffin. Uh, that was a nice yes. one, man. I like that. Yeah, one. I, I, I was going to have those available. Yeah. Like We'll have a very limited supply of those posters. I think we're doing like 50 of them, wow. and I'm probably going to keep like five of them myself because yeah, those like are my festival. Yeah, those are really cool. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, but um, we're going to have a limited run of those posters. But yeah, I had to have a show poster. 
yeah. by hand. And that's something I haven't done before. Like I do these promotional posters, which are really cool. Like Amy does an awesome job and I hang them up all around town. And then I try to sell them for like 10 bucks at the show. And it's like, <laughs> you could just go rip one off schnooks or something like right, that. Right. But um, That's where I got mine. <laughs> no, and I encourage oh. people to do that, man. Go get them after the show. And, but like, then it's ripped them. at the top where it was taped when you ripped it down. Like, yeah, oh, but that shows good. like authenticity. Right. And, like, it, gives it, it gives it energy <laughs> so, and so it makes aware. it cool. Dude, yours is all brand new and shiny. You must have no. paid five bucks for yours. Yeah, no, it's got, <laughs> right. it's got, got lipstick on it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't so know I had, where yeah. the lipstick comes from, but it's got lipstick on it. I, mean, I thought it looked sexy. I'm tired of arguing. Roll I mean, her art, her art is really Damn good. So cuts. what can I say? Yeah, it, it's cool, man. Cool. I, I didn't know if she was the one who did that. I saw the pie saw bird on top of the Mineral Springs Mall picture. No, that's that, yeah, that that is good a good one. Man, so. Yeah, I, I asked John, I said, make it have Mineral Springs, make it look wintry, get, put the pie saw bird in there and the Clark Bridge yeah. and, uh, and then and then I want to incorporate the dead in there somehow. Yeah, the, the, the lightning bolt yeah, coming up was beautiful. He, it beautiful. was just perfect. When yeah. he, like I didn't even I didn't even ask it was him to so edit it at all after he showed it to me. Yeah. The lightning <laughs> bolt coming up in the sky in the clouds was very it was subtle. Beautiful. But cool. yeah. yeah. Thirteen point light bolt, lightning bolt. That's where mm -hmm. it's at. So mm -hmm. all right, man. So everybody, uh, you know, happy Our trails. Day. Happy trails. That is January twenty fourth, twenty fifth. An amazing amount of bands. Uh twenty one, I believe it is. 20, 21 bands, something 21 like bands, yes. Yeah, 21 bands in two days on two stages, all happening at the Mineral Springs Mall, uh, starting Friday, uh, January 24th at 420, going to midnight, and then Saturday, January 25th from 120 to midnight. So Yeah, and it's also all ages, kids under 10 are free. So oh, there you go. Yeah. Third annual third annual so man that's uh that's pretty fabulous that oh. first year you were so worried about making it back and here you are <laughs> yeah. growing and growing that was great yeah it's great to see yeah you don't seem near as nervous this year you seem more He's got home. me here i'm oh, here for yeah I've, no, I've got austin I, i'm i'm sure nervous this no. is this been, is, this uh, is yeah, a he's been just for the squeezing for sure. the heck out of my leg uh, yeah. i thought that wow. i didn't think that was because he was nervous it seemed more you know just like he enjoyed it but we, whatever we've been friends a while yeah <laughs> <laughs> Getting closer and, and it's also uh i don't know if you mentioned uh it's a uh, majority of the benefits go to oasis women's center nice yes. yeah there you go which and is a good cause third too. year in a row doing you know, that even if you don't like music you don't right. like to shop come down yes. at least for a good cause now, if you don't like music and you don't like women there's something wrong then, with then you. you know i may you want to stay home <laughs> stay right? away from my yeah. festival yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we probably don't really want you there anyway. <laughs> just stop by I, drop some money off and I, see you later i always take the ken kesey approach uh where you know you, you want enough people to come that you don't lose a lot of money or you know mm -hmm. in your case maybe you make some money to give to the oasis center i'm always just hoping i don't lose a bunch but it really comes down to i don't want people to be there that aren't supposed to be there i want if, if you're supposed to be there you'll be there it's fine <laughs> i don't know that that's the greatest promotional attitude <laughs> it's, i will say each, each year it seems like there's been uh just a plethora of good people yeah. like and i there hasn't been no incidents no right uh no really bad vibes or any kind of any anything negative to report on even no we so had an incident good, last good year jeff nelson lost his cell phone it took us 30 40 minutes to find that ah, well, that was an incident that was I the think i vaguely remember that oh they were looking all over for them i'm going a mile a second oddly enough show. somebody took a picture we had a group of like 20 of us there and we were all sitting on the stairs and somebody snapped a picture that was before he knew his phone was missing <laughs> it was right underneath my wife's feet the whole time <laughs> that's <laughs> anyway, funny. anyway yeah so. all right when do you take a break uh we'll be back with more river band talent <laughs> brought to you by the half of music company and by mr Matt van force have you looked at the clock it's 15 no i had okay. no idea i, I just i glanced I at it i wonder why you started laughing because like, i looked oh at the clock god. and went oh my gosh it shows almost over yeah by the way <laughs> mr matt van Voorst of macias insurance i think i cut that off there yeah, so yeah. let's get that in there we appreciate those guys because uh without them it wouldn't happen that's nope. just how it is all right we'll be back with more uh with marshall and grand house and, and Austin Thaddeus thank you. Bourbon the third. Right. No, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> and now more Riverbend Talent. With Dennis Laird and Pig Pen. Pen, Pen, Pen. Pig Pen. 
He makes the effect and then he has to do it again. This I, guy I is like so it. full of himself. I, like I am so <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thanks to uh, Halpin Music Company who has uh, guitars, amplifiers, and bass 50% off everything from last year while it lasts. That's right. We got to move those old models out. We got new models yeah, coming in. Right. Crazy price, fifty percent off. Seriously, man, I'm gonna I know. That. I know. Fifty percent off their strings too. Well, I don't know about that. I, I don't know if I there's new just, models coming in. Yeah, I think I it's guitar, know. bass, and uh, wouldn't wouldn't yeah, that be nice if they brought new models? The 2020 strings are coming in. Oh, the <laughs> right. are half off. I would probably buy a lot. I would, I would buy them Making out. Some of those. Right. If there's strings left over. You're not changing them up. I know. I'm just I, I I. I Rusty Strings. That should be the name of one of my bands. But anyway, Rusty Strings. That's not a bad one. <laughs> That's I, not a bad yeah, one. I know. It might I, already be a band. I probably. <laughs> Willie Nelson's guitar. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So the Mad Bailey's uh, doing Bossa Nova on Friday night. Yep. Mila Duffy at Morrison's Irish Pub on Friday. They're Got doing DJ it. Karaoke at Third Shoot. The Truckers at Fast Eddie's. Uh, Doc Com. Holiday Band at uh, the VFW in Alton. We got the Outlaw Opry, 7 p.m. at Baker's and Hale. Catch some good music and good food. Hicktown, 9.30 p.m. at the Pump House down in Wood River. Uh, what? Chot a hoochie. Obviously not a country music. Chot a hoochie. Huh? Yeah, no. I, ch- <laughs> Chattahoochee. Yeah, yeah Chattahoochee. There you go. There you go. I'm like, that's a lot of vowels in there. It was the first thing I thought when I looked at it. <laughs> uh, the Chattahoochee River. Uh, Alan Jackson Tribute solo. It's sold out at the yeah. Wildy Theater. There yeah. you go. So Wildy Theater bringing in a lot of lot of good stuff. I think so. riding shotguns opening that up. Nice, Not nice. Sure. So Alan Jackson tribute. I'll be honest. I don't know an Alan Jackson song. I've heard the name a lot, but I don't know anything by the guy. So well, sold out. He's sold out. I bet he's huge. Yeah, that's uh, that's good money. Absolutely. Jaded pearls at uh, the back bar in Edwardsville. Butch and Allen at uh, five to eight, and then power play at nine o'clock at the Staggering again in Edwardsville. We got John Evans from 7 to 10 p.m. at George's local brew up in Jerseyville. Every little thing at 9.30 at Patrick's in Granite City. And the Bob Griffin duo at the Elks Club in Granite City also. All right. Karaoke at the Lake House at uh, Buffalo Park in Maryville. Salmon Creek, 8 p.m. at the Cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon. Open mic with Steve Mellis, 7 p.m. at the Hog Pit in Grafton. That's an every Friday thing now. Nice. You know what? For this Open time mic. of year, good mm-hmm. good for them. Uh, mm-hmm. Hog Pit for doing anything. They need it, man. Yeah. They uh, had that flood really yeah, knock absolutely. them down almost half the summer, over half the summer. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a bad one for them. And then uh, Murder at the Abbey Mystery Dinner uh, at uh, Pierre Marquette lodge in uh, grafton nice. 6 30 for that the grand band is playing uh nine o'clock at good time saloon in dupo illinois there's a that, band that constantly updates their uh, website and never falls off our list and you know what that's why we're just hearing about good time saloon in dupo i've never heard of exactly. them and i bet you wouldn't have heard of them no. either except the grand band put it up there yeah, so uh, exactly. thanks to those guys for doing that callus entertainment presents black flag i bet you're gonna be at that one right mm, no i gotta work tv party tonight Oh, I don't know. Not Henry Rollins. Anyway. One original member, just so you know. And no Henry the, Rollins? No. How can it be Black Flag? But, but I want to I wanna say Callus Entertainment <laughs> is uh, on fire. They're, yeah. they're doing all kinds of stuff here in the next uh, few months. We, so. We're going to have to have Phil Callis come yes. back in and, and uh, talk to us up. a little bit about what he's doing. We haven't talked to him for a while. And so. everyone's like, well, where's Black Flag playing? You brought it up. You didn't say where right. it's, it's, yeah. it's the Diamond Music Hall in St. <laughs> Peter's, Missouri. So there you go. Diamond Music Hall, St. Peter's, Missouri. Starting at 7 p.m. Earliest Black Flag show ever, as far as I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't think those guys started to like I'll tell you midnight, what, usually. that Diamond Music Hall, I'd like to check it out up here in some really good things about that place. Right so that'd be cool to check just, you know, that right. venue out. There you go. All right, let's move well, that, on. That's the fri- that. that that concludes our Friday yeah. uh, evening in the uh in the Riverbend and St. Peter area. <laughs> Right, <laughs> so had to throw. Had, we had to throw the St. Peter one in though, because it was Black Flag and it's Callus Entertainment well, from this area. So. Bill Callus has Bill been Callis, a guest on the show, so there once you're go. on, you know, we follow your stuff. So well, you once know. you're in our click, mm-hmm. you're in our click. All right, <laughs> uh, let's go to Saturday now. How about Open Art Open Mic Night, seven wow. to eleven at Jacoby's Art Center and all. Now this is something Ooh. I'm just hearing. Open Art slash Open Mic Night. So if you're, it's really a good idea. Everybody knows. Uh, all the musicians understand Open Mic 
late nights if you want to get a, a new song to try out or you're, you're just wanting to get out and, and do something. That's how you do it. You get out to open mic nights, open art nights, so any artist can bring something down and show it. Well, you just go down there and you take your stuff and start drawing. That's what okay. it looked like. A okay. bunch of people around the table drawing. Crazy. That's awesome. Wow. That or you bring awesome. your art down and display it, too. That's yeah. probably part of probably it. Probably a little bit of both. Oh, Man, yeah. that is, that's that's sweet. Uh, good, uh, probably Very interesting uh, concept. Yeah. Probably Josh uh, Grassley. Not sure, but I'm going to give him credit. So. Okay. If, if it wasn't him, somebody call me and tell me I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Josh is awesome. I love that dude. Yeah. yeah. I loved him once in high school. No, I, 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 I don't. It was an experimental phase, but no, I don't know. Anyway, uh, right now, Josh is like, what? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, Mondine Band uh, at Shea, Maryland on Saturday night. Uh, John Mondine and the boys. Uh, when you brought up Josh, it reminded me. Great article in the Telegraph, uh, Marshall, about the uh, Happy Trails uh, Music Festival, right? Was that the Telegraph I was reading I about? I actually have not read it. You haven't read it? I, I, I haven't. I, I did it. I yeah, mean, I did the interview. I haven't actually read it yet. Though. That's where I got the bit about the swag. He oh, talked about awesome. that in the article. Right? I was wondering. I was like, this guy did his homework. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. I do homework. He's, he's a real journalist over there. I'm just a jackass over here. But he's no, real. I just read other journalist stuff and repeat it. <laughs> I, uh, I, I had a journalist a copy of it yet. <laughs> Yeah, so that's in the uh, Telegraph. Check that out. Uh, the whole thing was plagiarized. This whole this whole radio <laughs> show is plagiarized. No, I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, so yeah, the John Mondine Band, Shea Maryland, um, uh, this Saturday night. Also, a guy, Canton Wine. Uh, he's down at the old bakery like once a month now or something like Third that. Third Thursday. Third Thursday. Uh, and, and you never know who's going to be with him, kind of like the Sean Cannon and the Voodoo Players. You just you know he's going to have some good guys with right. him. So get down and check that one out. Old Bakery Brewery. Uh, old Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Wild geese at Morrison's Irish Pub. Bullseye Womp Rats. <laughs> Bullseye Womp Rats. I, yeah. I dig that name. 8 p.m. at third shoot in Alton. So, there you go. Bullseye Womp Rats. I have not heard that one yet. I like it. All right. We got Anthony Nanny, 3 p.m. and Generation X at 8 p.m. That's both going on at Fast Eddie's Bone Adder. <laughs> and then we got the 42nd Fast and Eddie's what? Bon Air. <laughs> That's it's, French. It's for French for big fun. Hey, I, I got it. I can it's, it's big fun is what it means. Bon Air is big fun. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't, you should learn it before your life's over anyway. <laughs> anyway, well, it's also Saturday night, the 42nd annual Harmon's Bluegrass, and that's featuring uh, Michael Cleveland and uh, Flame Keeper. So I'm not who, sure who the Flame Keeper is, but mm -hmm. yeah, it sounds pretty interesting. That's going on at the Lewis and Clark uh, Community College Hathaway Hall on the campus out there in Godfrey right. on Saturday night. Also, Hookie just down the road from that at Roper's Regal Beagle, 6 p.m. on Saturday evening. Yep, Cricket and the Grilled Avocados, 8.30 at the Sunset Bar in nice. Godfrey. TBA doing uh, George's local brew. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It's, not, Our, it's not as good as TNA, but TBA is awesome. Right. <laughs> Gracia Harrison, 5 p.m. and Throw the Horns, 9.30 at the Pump House on Saturday. Eric and Marty, 3 to 7 at Grafton Winery, riding shotgun, 6 p.m. at Who Dats in Collinsville. There's your band. Go ahead. <laughs> Bags fly free, 5 to 8 p.m. And, and Ridge, uh, what a, Ridge Acer. Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. Wow, that's all but shoved together into well, one big word That's how there. they do it. Whew, ah, that's hard big to look at. Big words are tough for you. Yeah, they are, man. Anything more than one syllable, I that's you think you're so smart because you can read. 9 p.m. All right, anyway, but I, yeah, Bags Fly Free, free <laughs> Bags Fly Free, and Ridge Racer, which I love the Bags Fly Free name. Uh, that's at Stagger Inn again in Edgersville this Saturday night. You know Ridge what they Racer, say about the edge? There. You know what they say about the edge? Right? What, what, that it's coming it. fast? You only know it if you've been over it, right? Yeah. You only know where it's at if you've been over it. I, or something like that. I'm not trying to be a perfect quote there. I don't know either, but it's but pretty I, close. I find Fallen off of it a few times and climb back up. Dead Man's Bridge, 9 p.m. at the back bar in Edwardsville on Saturday evening. We got After Midnight STL, STL 9.30 at Deutz Village Inn and Pontoon. Uh, 12th, Street, 12th Street, Johnny and the Southside Bluesy Boys. Wow. 10 p.m. at Hooch and 16s in Granite City. There's you, know, uh, City Hooches, yeah. you know Darren Boyd? Who's that? The guitarist Darren Boyd. 
He's uh, with the rock bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, he plays. He's going to be sitting that, there that night. There you go. What, who's yeah, rock the, bottom? the Granite City rock bottom. Yeah, they play. They forever. play Patrick's, mm-hmm. and yeah. Eddie's yeah, yeah. a lot of times. Mm-hmm. So yeah. see there okay. on the marquee. We, we've we've mentioned the rock bottom band quite a few times. And Derek played with them. Derek Howard. Uh, yeah, uh, rock bottom. Rock bottom. I know he's a bonehead. Yeah, he's in a lot. He's in so many bands. Mm-hmm. It's hard to keep up with that guy. But all right, so so there you go. So uh, I'll say it one more time. Twelfth Street Johnny and the South Side Bluesy Boys. 10 p.m. at Hooch and Sixteens in Granite City. And then of course I'll try my best not to sing after I say this. But Pat Liston, 7 p.m. at L Flanagan's in Highland, Illinois. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I'm gonna uh, let you do the next one because you owe an apology to the judge. <sighs> For throwing him on the concrete. I didn't throw him. We got him. video I evidence. I kicked him, first of all. I didn't throw him. And I, I didn't <laughs> mean for him to fall. He's a He's wrestler. a judge. He's a exactly. judge. I, I feel really bad. I don't ever want to hurt anybody. And I'm sorry, Judge. But That's exactly why you're not a wrestler. And uh, anyone who thinks it's not talent better get in the ring and try it out because it's totally talent. I'm going to tell you right now I learned a hard lesson on that night. Uh, uh, not hurting someone when you're hitting them and kicking them is not as easy as I thought it would be. No. I am sorry again Judge. World Powerhouse Wrestling Grand Brawl, 7pm at the Staunton High School, probably in the gymnasium. And I believe they're raising money for uh, Staunton High School, like sports or one of the things that's going on in the school. I'm pretty Excellent. sure. Yeah. Those guys are always uh, doing something, raising money to help somebody and uh, they put on a great show. Uh, if you like wrestling go to it. If you got kids, even if you don't like wrestling, go to it. My daughter had never seen it and she absolutely loved it. Uh, uh, and, you know, if, if a bunch of you was to show up and say, I heard about this on Riverbend Talent to the guys, they might forgive me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But Well, anyway, I'm thinking I'm now that it's legal in Illinois, I mean, you know, if you're looking for something to do, walk in that place and watch them people for about an hour go crazy over that wrestling because that's entertaining. You just sit back in a chair and wrestling ride it out and and now that it's <laughs> now now that cannabis is legal in illinois our wrestling team we always wanted to right. have where we don't really fight we just keep blowing smoke at them until they right. fall over I think we, we can do that that's, that's a great gimmick i think yeah. so you what? we keep running and blowing smoke at them that way i don't have to hurt nobody they fall over i win maybe i get a couple bucks in a belt i don't know yeah yeah, uh, yeah. either way i'll be no, but, wasted uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> i mean medicated i got a card i'm yeah, sorry yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, after midnight, 8 p.m. at Rooster's Pub in Staunton, Doc Holiday Band at the uh, Prairie Inn in Dorsey, yep. Rogers and Neen House, 8 p.m. at the Vintage Wine Bar in Waterloo. There's a band that keeps their uh, site updated. Uh, those They're guys, doing something every week. They keep it. They keep it. That's multiple sites updated. Uh, yeah. Roger Neen House, One Eyed Parrot, 420. They, they do it. They got it all going on. I got an invite for this one. That's why it's on the list. All right. Repeat, repeat. <laughs> Okay. Plus Steph Chura with Jesus Christ Supercar. And that's the uh, part of Art of Life Festival in St. Louis. Uh, 8 o'clock, 12 bucks in advance, 15 day of the show, all ages at the old Rock House in St. Louis. Nice. I love that name, Jesus Christ Supercar. That's a great yeah. name. Uh, and a great venue, old Rock House. Yeah, I was just there last Saturday. I uh, had a great time. So, uh, good, so that good takes stuff care going of Saturday. On and thanks for the invite, by the way. I'm guessing yeah. that's an amphibious uh, vehicle also, the Jesus Christ supercar. Check that it out. It goes anywhere. It can go right on top of water. It goes sure. right on top of water, <laughs> man. It'll go under the water. It's Jesus Christ supercar, man. I love it, man. I had no idea that was a real thing. Oh, yeah, dude. You can't get the – if you want last year's model, or they're – 50% off because they got the 2020 <laughs> Jesus Christ supercar coming in. Like, Don't they call those duck boats or something? Duck yeah. boats. <laughs> Death boat. Yeah. Anyway. Be careful. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm getting on. No Make sure it's a 2020. Uh, right. Well, All right. we've, hey, we've let, reached 7 o'clock, so let's go on to Sunday oh, here. Park Howard. I know. Nobody I know. even cares. Let's just keep going. Mon and Ban, of course. 10 Pin on Sunday nights. If you haven't been to 10 Pin on Sunday night, you haven't experienced music in Alton. That, it is a definitely something. If you haven't done it once, please go do it once because it'll, it'll change your it life. They take uh, very long breaks. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, though. When they come back, it's worth 
it. They play till three o'clock in right. the morning. So yeah. uh, okay. Also on uh, Sunday, Hollywood Five. Which funny thing? There's only four people in it. No, I don't know. Hollywood <laughs> Five, two p.m. and Naked Soul, seven p.m. at Fast Eddie's Bonaire in Alton. Of course, open mic every Sunday and Wednesday night at the Stagger Inn again in Edwardsville. Scott and Michelle at Big Daddy's, three o'clock on Sunday. Matt Powell, two p.m. at the Cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon. We got the uh, uh, Matt Powell. Oh, yeah, we, you okay, did that one. <laughs> Brunch and Boulder Dash Trio. Yeah. 10 a.m. And mm. who dat's in Check Collinsville? That that's a Brunch and Boulder Dash Trio. I like it, man. Yeah. I me some breakfast, some good brunch, and, and a mimosa. Well, mm-hmm. and who dat's? I don't know if they serve liquor there. But the legendary should. Scott and Michelle, 6 p.m. at LaSalle's in Granite City on Sunday. Fuse 5, 4 o'clock at the Lake House at Buffalo Park in Maryville. Trag. Doing 2 to 6 <laughs> at Grafton Winery and... Uh, there you go, your buddies. Swamp Goose, 1 to 4 p.m. at Rooster's Pub in Staunton, Illinois. Also, I want to throw out, uh, because, uh, I, I, man, I wish I would have wrote it down, but I, uh, Kurt Copeland's Sunday Fun Day. Oh, yeah. It is still going on. It's been going on. He moved, when Proof closed down, right. he moved right down the road to Uncle Al's. Which is just uh, a couple oh, blocks down. It, it, Uncle, and what's the other place? Almost Home. Remember we used to talk about that a lot? Roaming Home. No, the, the no. Roaming Home was his band. There was a, a bar called Almost Home okay. in Jerseyville that used to get a lot of gigs up there that we would mention. Almost Home and Uncle Al's has like one house between them. So, the, you know, you can hit both of them real quick. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, of I just, course, I, they're still doing the uh, open mic every Monday night at the Bottle and Barrel, and I'm hearing great things about that. I mean, Me too. It, it's been packed, so that's great on a Monday night. Yeah, I, I've been I just want- seen a post where someone tried to go by there and there was no parking. Yeah, yeah. So that's I, I've awesome. been, uh, I've had a lot of people inviting me down there, and I've been wanting to try to get down there. But I, I, I Monday night, seven p.m. is actually late for me. I'm telling you, man, the folks I'm <laughs> seeing <laughs> that are going down there are the same folks that went to the musicians. musicians club. That's yeah. why I've been getting yeah. the invites. I think is because it's a, a lot of the old musicians club crew, and they, it looks like a really good time. Yeah. So also on Monday, uh, Deluxe Duo. 6 p.m. at Fast Eddie's. One Seven time. days a week music at Fast Eddie's. Got to so. give those guys some credit down there. We, we every every place should have Look music at that. seven days a week. What do we have? Six pages all Woo. available at cottonmouth.org if you want to you know, you're yeah. out and about, and you're trying to figure out what what were they talking about? That's Who was that? Who dance again? Yeah. yeah. And you don't have the to, list. like, look through a bunch of cottonmouth stuff. No, it's just right there on the front page. Nothing but gigs. We're retired. I mean... Uh, <laughs> And don't forget, Happy Trails Festival, January 24th and 25th at the Mineral Springs Mall. Unbelievable amount of bands. 21 bands, two days. Uh, $10 uh, for the first day, 15 for the second day, or 20 for a two-day pass. So, hey, all, all uh, well, not all proceeds, but proceeds, some of the proceeds are a portion to benefit the Oasis Center. There you go. It's simple. It's the it middle of January. You're tired of being inside. You can't wait for the summer for festivals. So why not just go to Happy Trails? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a exactly. win-win for everyone. It is going to feel Bring like the family. Yeah, everybody can go. Yeah. Get some food while you're down there. Yeah. There's going to be so many shiny people. It's going to feel like the sun's shining in that place. Oh, yeah. The smiles will be so shiny, you'll feel like the sun is in that room. <laughs> sure to be I think they're going to probably end up shutting down Broadway, all the people that are going to show up. I'm just saying. What's I'm getting that festival <laughs> itch, you know? <laughs> uh, all right, man. Well, thanks again to uh, my good f- friend, Marshall Ingracia, uh, promoter of Happy Trails and uh, bass player of Grand House and, and uh, sitting in with Spilly Nelson on bass. Mm-hmm. And then my new uh, friend, which we've actually met several times in the past. I just never realized he had such a cool name until now. <laughs> uh, I only knew, he's, knew him as Austin before, but Austin Thaddeus Bourbon III, That's ruler right. of uh, whatever, ruler of his own domain. Conqueror of your mind. <laughs> conqueror, <laughs> conqueror of the... the uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know I, 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 I'm, I'm running out of things to say. It's a long day. Let's, let's get at it. Hey, big thanks no, no, also. No. Wait a minute. What's next week on the show, Pigpen? Next... Uh, Steph Plant. Okay. And her, uh, she, she we, we've had her on in the past. She played with the Leonas and played over at the, you know, uh, in St. Louis or whatever. And she wrote the great uh, children's book, The Slithering Snake. Yes. And now she has a children's album out entitled Moth Wings and Other Things. Oh, and we will talk fabulous. to her. Fabulous, yeah. Yeah, the, the, yes. she's, she's going to sing a moth song that is, yes. it, it's a really good song, man. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a really good song. And hopefully yeah. it sounds pretty good, too. So, I hope so the first time we let somebody break loose on the acoustic, we're going to have to do some more of that. Oh, yeah. We don't do a whole 
whole lot of that because it's hard to control the sound in this uh, studio. Talk radio age. environment. And a talk we'll radio <laughs> environment. Yeah, it's, it's not really uh, made for music, but she busted out an acoustic and sang, sang beautifully and, and brought me to tears Dang, there with a story about a moth. No, yeah. not, really, not really tears. I was kind of excited. Actually, it was a pretty touching story. It, it was a very touching story. I was moved. I, yeah. I moved to the left a little. I moved to the right. Anyway. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Steph Plant, next week, uh, thanks again to Halpin Music and uh, Matt Van Voris of Macias Insurance Agent. Thanks to all the local venues, the local bands, the and our guest tonight. Everybody, get out and support local music and art. That's your homework.